From Hollywood, California, we present Gene Hersholt in a new Dr. Christian story called Blossom O'Toole. Presented for your pleasure by the Cheesebro Manufacturing Company, owners of the trademark Vaseline, and producers of Vaseline Petroleum Jelly, Vaseline Hair Tonic, and other famous Vaseline specialties. Our guest of the evening is a young man with a fine-looking head of hair, and here is his own story of how it got that way. I used to soak my hair with water mornings and slick it down carefully until I noticed it was getting brittle and hard to manage. Then one day the girlfriend spotted some loose dandruff on my coat collar and asked me why I didn't get wise and use Vaseline hair tonic. Well, I bought a bottle and rubbed it on my scalp well before each shampoo. I shake a few drops on every morning, too. No, well, I don't like to brag, but I really have a healthy-looking head of hair. My hair stays in place without having that plastered-down look. And all those unpleasant dandruff scales will disappear. If you are bothered by dry scalp, take a tip from this young man. Try a bottle of Vaseline hair tonic. Use it liberally before each shampoo. Then shake on a few drops as a daily dressing for your hair. You'll find that Vaseline hair tonic supplements those natural scalp oils so frequently lost through shower baths, steam-heated rooms, and too much direct sunlight that it helps to check those dry scalp conditions. Buy a bottle of Vaseline hair tonic at your drugstore tomorrow. It comes in two sizes, only 40 and 70 cents for generous bottles that last several months. And there goes the curtain music for our Dr. Christian play, Blossom O'Toole, which stars Jean Hershel as the Doctor of Others End, supported by Rosemary DeCamp as Judy Price, his secretary, John Arthur of Mr. Barnes, a stern father of Rivers End, Helen Geddes as Mrs. Barnes, his young invalid wife, Gloria Holden as Claire Barnes, alias Blossom O'Toole, and Lois Corbett as Miss Morrison, a nurse. The curtain is going up now, and we see Dr. Christian's office. The time is late afternoon, and Judy is straightening up the room. The door opens, and Dr. Christian enters wearily. Hello, Dr. Christian. I was just going to send out a searching party. Well, what's the matter? Nothing. A little tired, that's all. Oh, it's a lot more than that when it makes you look this way. Here, sit down in your big chair and relax. You've been overdoing. No, it isn't that. I'm just a little low, I guess. Oh, something's gone wrong with one of your patients. Which one is it? Old Willie Barnes is dying. Oh, no. Yes, he can't possibly live more than a day or two. Ah, oh, poor old fellow. He seems so awfully alone. Um, I've sent for his daughter, Judy. You sent for his daughter? But, but, Dr. Christian, how could you? They, well, you know, he won't. Uh... I know, Judy. But maybe he will now. Well, how did you know where to reach her? I thought she disappeared, that she was... Uh... She wrote to me several years ago, asked me to let her know if there was anything her father needed. She said she could never forgive him, but she didn't want him to suffer. She sent me a address where she could always be reached. For heaven's sake, he never said a word. Does old Mr. Barnes know you've heard from him? No, he doesn't know. I have to promise her I wouldn't tell him. She must have been pretty selfish, Dr. Christian, to go off and leave him like that. All alone, never even have written to him. No, she wasn't selfish, Judy. She was very lovely. Lovely and young. But how could she do a thing like that? I don't... Like what, Judy? Well, everybody in town says she just packed up and left her father without a word. Oh, she was very hard. Wouldn't you think she'd have written or something? After all, her own father. I know. Ah, uh, you don't want to talk about it, do you? I'm sorry I asked so many questions. It's only that I've heard so much about no, it. That's all right, Judy. As a matter of fact, I believe I'll tell you the whole story. I hope you'll be a help in the next few days. Of course, I'll do what I can. I know you will, bless your heart. It's been over 20 years since I first met the Barnes family. One well, night, just as I was getting ready for bed, I was called up to come up to the house on the hill. I know Barnes only slightly. He was a man that I had an evil game, strong and dignified. But all I have said that he was deeply in love with his wife, who was about half his age, sweet and charming, but a hopeless man. Claire was a lovely child and didn't go at that time. Then I went up to the house and Mr. Barnes himself opened the door. Message. Is she right there? I'm, I'm afraid so. Well, let's go out in. Yes, right this way, Doctor. Dr. Christmas here now, dear. He'll give you something to relieve the pain. 
something here for you. No. Right back and rest. I haven't time to rest. I must talk to Will. It's about Claire. She's such a little girl. She'll miss me so. Be good to her, won't you, Will? Take care of her. Promise me you will. Of course I will. She's my baby, and I've got to leave her. You'll have to be her father and her mother, too. I'll devote the rest of my life to her, Ellen. Oh, you mean to, but you, you get so absorbed in other things. You, you're so stern sometimes. When I'm gone, Will, I want your promise. Swear you'll take good care of our little girl. All right. I swear, Helen. Mrs. Barnes died that night, and Claire and her father went to land the house in the hill. Every time I saw her, I had to be sad and yellow and cold and stern. But she had almost everything to think of in Claire. She had a poor old cart that was the only other child I'd ever seen. But she had been with friends. All the young people in the other town were the terrified of her father. So she must have been a bad, bad little girl. But she grew up somehow, and by her day, she suddenly came into my office. And um, that question, I just had to talk to you. You've always been so kind, and I haven't anyone else to turn to. Well, right, but don't you help me if I can, Claire? What's the trouble? It's about... Uh, it's about father. Oh. Well, go ahead. Dr. Christian, I'm in love. Are you? Well, what's so unusual about that? Most girls of your age are. Father doesn't think so. He doesn't believe in love. For me, at least not for a long time yet. He, he's never let me go about with boys or have them come to the house or anything. No, oh, that does seem too bad. But your father adores you, Claire. I know he does. But does that mean that he mustn't ever let me live? I... I wanted to study for the stage, and Father almost had a stroke. And I want to go places and see people, and... And right now, you want to see one person in particular? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, he's wonderful, Dr. Christian. So, I'll convince him. Oh, how did you know? <laughs> well, I was I. What did you know him? Well, I, I didn't really know him. I went to the drugstore to get some cigars for Father. And as I was leaving, I dropped all my packages. Oh, you picked them up? Yes. And then? Uh, and then he said that I seemed to have an armful. Couldn't he walk along with me and carry some? And I said no. And, but he did it just the same. He carried them as far as our car. And then I made him stop because I know his father so I knew. Well, I can't say I could do that. Oh, that is more. He, he wanted to see him again. Oh, he's, he's wonderful, Dr. Christian. He's an everybody. He has everything. Oh, he's a, he's a star, shall we say? Yes. Yes, he's only going to be here for a few days. What's his business? Well, um, he's selling things right now. He's a sort of a promoter or something. I see. Well, what is the problem, Claire? Is it that you're going to sell him again? Oh, I have seen him again every night. But how? I sneaked out after Father thought I was in bed. But last night I finally got my courage up and asked him to come to the house. I told Father I met him through some things. And Father was awful. He said I could never see him again, that he was a cheap, ignorant young sport. Did the court tell Claire that one day your father was right? Oh, he's not right. Just because a man's had a hard time all his life and has had to work... But I don't care about that. I, I love him, Dr. Christian. And Father can't keep us apart. Oh, I, I thought you'd understand. I do understand, Claire. Well, then, Dr. Christian, do you think you could get him to let me go on seeing Harry? Harry? Yes. Yes, that's his name, Harry Hall. Do you know him? I, I've seen him. He, uh, he comes to other things quite frequently. You, you don't like him? I, I don't like him. Well, you don't like him either. Oh, I, I can see it in your face. I guess you think he's cheap too, in Bulger, but he isn't. He is not exactly the time I'd select for you, Claire. But I'll do what I can with your father. 
Come and see me tomorrow. Do you want to do that for me? Well, I'll try. But no matter what Father says, I won't give Harry up, Dr. Christian. Not ever. Oh, Dr. Christian, you want to do that for me? Oh, Dr. Christian, you want to do Christian wired me, and if tell the doctor I want to talk to him, will you? I'll tell him. Sit down, won't you? <laughs> Thanks, I will. Gee, my dogs are barking something fierce. Who are you, anyway? Well, I'll be surprised, Dr. Christian Barnes. I'm not so glad you're here. So you know who I am. Yes, I heard you tell Miss Morrison. If I said I had just proud I'd come. And I sure did, but it's a shock. I'll bet Dr. Christian won't know me. Uh, you... You haven't been in this part of the country for... No, I've been everywhere. Nightclubs, road shows, I've trooped the country. Oh, I don't know you're in the theater. In the theater? <laughs> well, I'm not very often. Uh, all the same, I'm still waiting for my big chance. Oh, here's Dr. Christian. I'll, uh, I'll go help Miss Morris. Hello, Dr. Christian. Claire. Claire Barnes? <laughs> you didn't know me, did you? I guess I was a brunette the last time you saw me. Yes. Yes, your hair is different. Well, it's been quite a long time. Oh, don't stall, Doc. I know how I look as well as the next one. But, Claire, you said you had been I have to help your father if you needed it. Well, I kept a little salted away, just in case that ever happened. And how is he, Doctor? A few hours later. Well. Yeah. He keeps calling for you, Claire. I wanted to get her and I we could stay out of the place. Recognize me? Well, I'm not going to see him. You didn't expect me to do that, did you? Yes, I did. After what he did to me? Say, I'll give him money if he needs it. I'll take care of him, but see him. Oh, no, Dr. Christian, I couldn't. Why aren't you, Claire? <laughs> he needs me. Have not needed me all these years? Yes, he's needed you always. Only he's been too proud to admit it. He's lived in a land of better old boy and you ought to if you don't save him. How can I save him? Just by letting him fight at you, 
diamond. Nothing. Yeah, he's likely to believe that if he gets a look at me. And he'll ask questions, Dr. Christian. He'll, he'll ask about Harry. What about Harry, Claire? Well, he didn't marry me, Dr. Christian. Oh, poor child. What did you do? Changed my name, got a job in the course of a show in Chicago. All my life I'd wanted to go on the stage anyway. Have you succeeded? You can see for yourself. I still believe that Saturday, but right now, Blossom O'Toole is a second-rate actress at Liberty. An actress? Yeah. Claire, why are you so much unhappiness yourself? Can you do all your father's just a little? Oh, how can I, Dr. Christian? I can't tell him the truth. You have to. What do you mean? Claire, yeah. your father's eyes are blind him. He's been so old. You're an actress. The are little simple. Go on and play your part. Not because I tell you to stay that circuit, but turn it down. The lovely daughter of this lovely old house. Don't you know me? It's Claire. Yes. Claire. Yes. I'm right here, Father. Here on the floor beside the bed. Give me your hand. Put it here against my cheek. There. Now, now do you know me? Yes. Yes, you've come back. Yes, Father. You, you were a wicked girl, Claire. You were away with it. Good for nothing, scared for Father, dear, he, he wasn't good for nothing. He was fine and kind and wonderful, just just like I said he was. Yes. Yes. You married to him? You happy? I'm happy now, Father. Happy than I ever tried I'd be. Oh, yeah. oh my little girl. If you were hard suffering, I'd just use you. Everything. You promised me I would. Oh, my dear. Don't bother about it now. I'm so proud of you. So proud. You were such a beautiful little girl. Your hair was just like your mother's. You had the brown curls. Your hair is still curly, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it's still curly. Okay. I can feel it when you're the food. Which would the heavy back? I can sit in front of the fireplace again. Play chess. Sit up the middle. You played all night, didn't you? Oh, no. Yes, you did. You were the chess board today. Yeah, I can see that. You were going to take me out. Yeah, let's make sure you're steady. Did you like to know blue dress on it, huh? Yeah. Blue is your father's favorite color. Yeah. Are you pretty, huh? What's his name? Cookie. Well, you're not a cookie, don't you? I'm not a father because you're a child of ginger snap. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. The girl in the other room, too. You're a little girl. That was for you. Let's forget I ever went away, Father. I can't see very well. I don't feel clear. Just the same, though. A little bit older, I suppose. That's all. But how about you such lovely clothes? That's that good. We have a nice home. Oh, we have a beautiful home. Oh, we have a gracious hostess. That's the way. I try to be. I wish I could see. Oh, you can. You can as soon as you get well. I never know, but I don't mind dying now. This is not going out bad for me. I don't blame myself. I don't know the way I am, Andrew, darling. Things have turned out very bad. Excuse me. I'm back hard. Stubborn. I'm so mad. I can't quite sleep, darling. Little girl. He's safe. Yes, father. 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 Dr. Christian. Claire, what is it? Dr. 
a Christian a father, but he just smiled and fell asleep. I ran away to it. I ran away to it. I ran away to it. Yes, you are not a habit. You are going to to space with him. A good boy.